I spent some time with some businessmen, students and media personalities who had come to Ghana to celebrate the year of return with us. These Americans of African descent had visited the Cape Coast Castle, another tourist site. They share their experiences with me. It's an honor to be home. Okay. Is Thank it your you. first? No, it's my fifth oh. time in Ghana. Oh. So, but every time is uh, richer than the experience before. It's great to know that you say that every time is richer than you've experienced before. Yes. What, what makes the difference every time you come here? Uh, you learn something different. Uh, meeting the people is uh, the richest resource uh, that the nation has. The hospitality is second to none. Uh, and just the beautiful landscape of uh, what God did in his sleep to create this nation is amazing. Well, it is the first time and uh, the year return. It has been amazing. We have been busy every day experiencing uh, all of what Ghana has to, to offer, from the food to the welcoming of the people. Uh, we were in Cape Coast yesterday and visiting the, uh, the, the uh, slave dungeons, which was both spiritual and emotional. It was extremely powerful to go in, once we actually went into the actual dungeons where the men and women were kept, it was uh, just very emotional to see the conditions that they were kept in. But at the same time, just to show the perseverance, the, the, the might, the, the, the will to live that they had for those that made it. It was humbling um, and terrifying at the same time uh, to relive even for a moment what our ancestors had to endure. Tell us your impression about this motherland. I'm totally and completely impressed. One of the things I'm loving is you talked about the food mm -hmm. and the food being so much natural and plant-based mm -hmm. that is so healthy and, and we got a chance to get educated on all the different things that the different types of food to do for you whether it's high blood pressure mm -hmm. or you have a sickness eating the right foods to cure that without you know traditional mm -hmm. methods so i'm excited about that i'm very excited about the culture i was created by princess and her people and and then they gave us these and so it was very much royal treatment mm -hmm. and then we went outside and started dancing and the drums were playing and it was just amazing but i've visited several countries um but this is the first time actually coming you know with the purpose and for a purpose uh, i met the president just about a year ago and made a commitment to try to lead a delegation for the 400 year commemoration and uh here we are uh, we're all business persons who are interested in developing uh, business ideas, uh, using our expertise to bring to our motherland. I'm just really honored to be here and to uh, bring our skill sets um, in real estate, commercial development, as well as technology, um, and also really trying to figure out how to harness the raw skill and labor force that's here, and, uh, but at the same time protecting it and, and advising you know, the president on down on how to install uh, proper building codes and permits uh, to ensure that you guys um, protect your land and your buildings and make sure you're included in all the construction projects. Um, just, just to make sure that the resources and the money that's coming in from the outside uh, properly gets distributed uh, to the people here. What makes you excited of coming back? Well, I'm a businessman and I look at business opportunities anywhere. I'm, for example, the large businessman in the Bahamas, and that's away from the United States. So we have no fear to do business beyond the comfort zone of our own backyard. So the, the team that's here is ready to venture out into all elements that Ghana may offer so that we can mature those businesses that may be here, bring new business, especially on the technology side.